City Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg announced the findings in the report. She says for the first time since 2010, New York City saw a slight drop in subway riders in 2016 and 17, largely due to a decline in off-peak ridership, something strap hanger Hebert Mendoza was surprised to hear. I don't think so, though. I still see the same amount of people. <laughs> Trains are always crowded. And the worst thing is, like, uh, as time has gone by, it's gotten worse and worse. Bus ridership also continues to decline. The number of rideshare car trips has gone up significantly. We asked the commissioner what will be done to remedy the situation. With the increase, you know, as the report said, for the four higher vehicles, what are you doing now to fix it? If you remember back in 2014, it was certainly something that the de Blasio administration wanted to take a look at. City Council, I think, was not so receptive at that time. The mayor has since said that he thinks we need to go back and take a fresh look. I think he really wants to make sure he's working closely with the council. So, but what you're doing now, I mean, is there anything you're doing now to fix that? Right, I think now we're talking to city council. About, so talking. Yeah. I drive in Queens, but I don't drive here. Parking is impossible and too much traffic. Yeah, I'd rather walk here, to be honest. As far as what is being done now to ease congestion, Trottenberg pointed to the mayor's congestion plan to improve travel speeds along key roads, a pilot to increase access to car sharing, and a trial of new dockless bike share systems to be added to the existing city bikes. The report also found the number of cars coming into Manhattan south of 60th Street is down, but they are circulating, not parked, resulting in more traffic jams. Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. The DOT also says nearly two-thirds of trips in the city are made by what's called sustainable modes of travel, bicycling, walking, and transit.